You guys sent me your insanely cool levels and today I'm gonna be playing some of them and giving them a rating from 1 to 10. The levels only get better and better as the video goes on so make sure to stick around. The first level is called Such Rain Bruh. It was made by Zleben. The first part of this level already has a pretty interesting gimmick. You can either choose to do the normal way and just beat the first part normally or you can get the coin lol way and you turn the entire first part into an extreme demon. Personally, I'd go for the normal route. I don't really care about user coins anyway. Something really interesting about this level is the difference of decoration between the parts. But the most interesting one surely has to be the last one. Just look at this upside down rain. However, even though this level has some really interesting concepts and ideas, there could be more details in the ball part and in the wave part. They really are a little lackluster. I will rate this level 7 out of 10. The next level is very very interesting. You will really get shocked when you see it. The level I'm talking about is Back on Wave by Maximal Dash. At the moment I started playing it, I already started noticing something off with it. First off, the level shows us a pretty cool blue and glowy decoration, with some aspects that really remind me from Sonic Wave. But as soon as I progressed a bit more through this, I noticed something extremely interesting. The gameplay of this level is the same from Back on Track. This guy basically had the genius idea to mix up Back on Track gameplay with a revamped Sonic Wave decoration. And it actually looks good! I mean, look at this. I really feel like I'm a pro player beating an extreme demon at this point. Although, I do think that some parts could have been more well made. Some details of this level, such as these clothes, look a bit messy and the level just looks really empty in the majority of the parts. The creator could at least have added some extra details in these wave parts to fill in the extremely empty voids in it. Despite all that, I still do think that this level has a good execution and with a little more effort, it could have been even greater. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. You will get really surprised with the next level because, believe it or not, it is actually an extreme demon. The name of this level is Switchy, made by Demon Peep and before playing it, I gotta tell you guys a little secret, I am not very good at this game. So instead of suffering a lot to beat this, I decided to just watch a video of this level instead. Now we can talk about the level properly. The first part has a pretty interesting kind a modern style decoration, with a really nice mask effects in the background, but then it transitions into the second one, in which just blew up my mind. It looks totally different from the previous one, as if I weren't surprised enough, when we moved into the drop of the level, the decoration had another brutal change. Now it transitioned from a sky themed level to a completely psychedelic and full of effects thing that kinda reminds me of Killbot, if it was not completely green of course. For the rest of the level, it's basically the same, psychedelic effects with a lot of intensity and crazy stuff going on. Despite I really liking the ideas and the variations that the creator did on the styles, I really think that a lot of parts could have been more polished in general. Some transitions could be more well executed and some sections like the wave and the last part could be more filled up with details as they feel a little lackluster, but in general it's a quite nice level, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. The next level also had me pretty shocked, because again, it was an extreme demon. This one has a really interesting 1.9 decoration, that honestly kinda reminds me from Shockzidian levels. Also, since we are talking about an extreme demon, I'm watching a video of it for obvious reasons. As soon as it starts playing, we can already tell that this is a memory level. Throughout the level, there are some really interesting dynamics, like there are a lot of fake spikes over some blocks, and in this wave part, you literally have to clip into a saw to beat it. Isn't that freaking cool? This level only gets more and more interesting. A lot of really interesting gimmicks come and it really seems fun to play once you learn it. Gameplay wise, it really looks like an interesting level. But what about the decoration? Well, the decoration is 
quite nice. I mean, my only complaints about it is that some parts look genuinely kinda empty, but other than that, it really is a cool looking 1.9 decoration. So yeah, in my opinion, the creator really did a very nice job and my final rating for this level is 8.5 out of 10. The next level is actually not really a level. It is about a layout made by my homie Rzeri. This layout is actually star rated in game. And since it's an insane demon, we're also watching a video of it. Right when the video starts, we can already see a flashlight warning. So things are surely gonna get really intense here. The first thing I wanna point out here is how well synced it looks. This organized structuring only makes this even more appealing and comfortable to look at. As soon as you get to the drop part of it, we can see a lot of real psychedelic effects and a lot of really intense lightnings pulsing all over the screen. As the layout goes on, it only gets more interesting. The structuring gets more appealing and look at this gigantic well. This looks actually so sick, man. They even made an end screen for a layout. You guys are absolutely crazy. Prismi by Arzari really gives off a lot of intensity and it really seems a really fun to play level once you learn it. However, since this is not a level but a layout, I'm not gonna be able to rate it properly. So I will leave this one for you guys. And now, let's move on to the next one. This level is called Fin del Topolini, probably an Italian name, by GD Teclos. At the exact moment we get into this level, we can clearly see how amazing it looks. The first part has a really basic city decoration, and we keep going until the next part. The first transition looks absolutely stunning. The level leads you to the sky, with a very intense and well executed effect. And now, we are here, up above the clouds, just observing this beautiful sunset with this silly little UFO right there with us. In general, all the transitions of this level are really well executed and every single part, despite being pretty simple, really looks nice and clean. And most importantly, each one of the parts of this level feels unique and alongside with the designs that are absolutely stunning, this level really gave me a nice experience. Also there is this really cool spam in the last part that I had to use my mouse and my keyboard at the same time in order to beat it. My only complaint is that there are some parts that look slightly empty in this level. I know that the creator's plan was to use as little objects as possible, but I think that doesn't justify emptiness. This level is an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Really nice job GD Teclos, you have a lot of potential and I'm sure you're gonna come out with another banger in the future. If you want your level to appear on my next video, just join my discord server and send it on the level requests channel, I will leave the link in the description and in the fixed comment. I really hope you enjoyed watching so far, thank you so much for staying around and I'll see you next time.